Leo, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 2nd through the 8th, guys. I'm doing your guys' reading first because last week I completely fucked it up. I, I think I posted your guys' video and I, I titled it Pisces. And then I titled Pisces Leo. Shit happens. But anyways, guys. <laughs> after acknowledging that mistake, I just feel inclined to, to make it up make it up you know, not necessarily to make it up but I just feel inspired to connect with you guys <laughs> what's going on Leo from the second through the eighth guys we're already in October October is gonna be such a great month every fucking month is so great to be honest so what's going on with you <clears throat> what's going on with you Leo Oh guys, what's going on with you? Damn, a little bit on the defensive side. So it seems, nevertheless, you're leaving the doors open. It's as if you're curious about something here. All right, you're curious about someone interesting. Whomever it is that you're dealing with here may, uh, may have a very strong presence. Could be someone that is exuding some energy that is frictional to say the least. All right, this could be an arrogant individual, someone that is difficult to communicate with, someone that you see a challenge getting through. It's like you, you see, you see a challenge. It's a, you see getting your message through to them as an obstacle due to their own personality. I don't know. This individual may be mad at you. For all I know, we're gonna go with the flow and see what's going on. Nevertheless, you're coming to some sort of realization. All right, so you're definitely single, guys. I'm not connecting with any Leos that are in a relationship. Nevertheless, like usual, Leo tends, tends to, it seems as if that's your answer, Leo. I don't know, that's, that's from the energy that I'm getting here. It's like, it's as if when you're going through some, when you're dealing with someone difficult or you're dealing with some sort of, you know, difficult situation that is being imposed by someone else, it's like you find power within your own self. As you should, as you should, guys. So long it's not, you know, through an arrogant perspective or conceitedness or something like that. We must remain humble. Anyhow, guys, you, you are most certainly, in regards to your love life here, you are most certainly in a, walking through some sort of difficulty. You do not see clearly, guys. You don't see the path that lies ahead clearly. Therefore, for that reason, you may be turning inwardly or turning towards yourself and not necessarily giving attention to a situation that is turbulent. Nevertheless, you are desiring this to turn around. All right? You do want a positive ramification from wherever you are at this point. And I get the sense that you're going to pursue that. You're actually taking action towards resolution leo <clears throat> now to clarify this action that i'm seeing you could be dealing with an aries as well all right this, this um let's clarify this this movement that i'm seeing here just because it's movement doesn't mean that it's going to be successful all right shit someone moving towards the chaos to harmonize it can in all reality just stir the bees hive even more. Let's clarify this. What is this? Yeah, the attempt of bringing, absolutely. So look guys, in regards to that Knight of Wands, I'm seeing an attempt, an attempt to bring some sort of resolution, to bring some sort of truthful communication that will be the catalyst to change. That's what I'm seeing here. Is the attempt to bring change within a conflicting situation. Nevertheless, I don't necessarily see this being resolved despite there being an action toward resolution. Let's see. Yeah. Damn, there's a lot of fucking people involved here. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. All right, guys. 
Some of you are faced with having to make a decision between partners or you're dealing with a partner that is having to make a decision between others, including yourself. All right. <clears throat> Interesting. Leo. Leo. Who are you involving yourself with? Let's clarify this. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. King of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Wands. World. Yes, yes, yes. Look, <clears throat> guys, despite the turbulence that you're experiencing, you're ready to leave this behind you. You're ready to close this out, wrap up this phase that the relationship is undergoing and move towards liberating the conflict, releasing the burden from the relationship is what I'm seeing. All right, that's what you got on your mind, guys. The messages are, are being redundant here, getting redundant here. Now, <clears throat> In regards to, uh, you know, the overall message that I'm getting here is this message. It's this message being delivered from from uh, from whomever has been holding back their feelings. All right, so Leo, I get the sense that you could be dealing with someone that is, uh, like I mentioned earlier, conflicting. Yet, this has driven you to somewhat. Isolate, focus on yourself, but in reality, you've just been hiding your feelings in the dark. All right, and it's as if that chest, that chest, that treasure chest, your heart, your vulnerability is what you're inclined to open up this week. All right, that's what I'm seeing, guys. <clears throat> now, Leo, who do you feel so inclined to communicate with? I don't know. But anyways, who is this emperor? What is this emperor doing here? How can this be the advice for Leo? Reconciliation, there's nothing to it, man. There's nothing to it but to take action, Leo. Look, this is the past returning, all right? Clearly, whatever sort of situation you've been dealing with is a connection that's been existent, okay? It's gone silent. There isn't communication, that's obvious. Well. You're being told to take on that boss energy, that assertive energy, that energy that essentially is someone that goes after what it is that they want. All right, someone wants to get to the top of a mountain, they don't see a path, they make a fucking path. It doesn't matter, the, the directions don't matter. What matters is that you get there. So if that's what you want, then make it happen, guys. All right, ladies. If you're dealing with a, a, a man that can be a, quit, a, a bit repulsive at this time or frictional to say the least, you lose nothing by being vulnerable. In fact, that vulnerability may actually be your power, okay? That vulnerability, that expression, that authentic and generous expression of your interest towards someone can be the catalyst to them changing their perspective towards you. That's just what I'm seeing, guys. But how many are you are going to take on that motivational speech and actually embody that courageousness and do something about it? Don't be impulsive. Be strategic with it as well, guys. Don't just say, oh, fuck it. I'm going to get the phone and I'm going to call it right now. No. Let that idea settle in. Let that idea settle in to, into the week. And in the right time, when you don't feel anxious, when you don't feel pressured, execute. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon? Why do I whistle? I don't know. You see, that's one of those impulses that I'm telling you guys not to do. Don't give in to those impulses. Now, so the moon here, <laughs> the moon is essentially here because you're in some sort of transitory phase in which you're leaving behind things that are hindering your happiness. That is what you're moving towards, right? From the eight to the nine. However, 
in this nine and solitary and self-content energy that you're seeking, Leo, there's also grievance going on. There's curiosity. There may be even spying on your end. If this keeps up, Leo, before you know it, we'll see the devil card. <clears throat> and what that simply signifies is obsession. Toxic obsession. Toxic attachments. And that's where I see you headed, guys. That's where I see you headed if you don't take action. If you don't go after what it is that you want, you're going to remain in the fucking dark, spying on the cross watcher, grieving about whatever the hell happened, never attaining your self-contentment. But I, I don't see Leo doing that. I see Leo doing the opposite, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> Yo, check this out. Let's just take a step back. Take a step back. Get a perspective, you know. Look at things from different angles. Look at things upside down. So in other words, take your perspective of what it is that you're undergoing at this time and completely flip it around and see what you find. <clears throat> Let's look into this individual that you're dealing with that is appearing as the five of wands. Why so much conflict surrounding this individual? in relation to Leo. Yeah, man, someone here, someone here's got options. Someone here's got options, straight up. Leo, Leo, Leo. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, guys, is, is not necessarily doing good. I really get the sense that they're choosing other things or other people over you, abandonment, defeat, for something else. All right, whomever it is that you're dealing with has left the scene, guys. Fuck, fuck. Here I am telling you, make a move, leading you to your own demise. I'm just reading energy, guys. Look, the advice that, that you know, I saw is, is not something that I'm you know, trying to inspire you to do. It's more so a message that I'm passing through. For whatever reason, this is aligned with your higher good. Maybe this individual that you're dealing with is hindering you from finding what it is that you want. Therefore, you must take action even though it will bring the demise to this connection. Sometimes destruction is necessary for regeneration. And this just may be one of those cases where you got to give up where, where where the desire for the individual is too strong to let go then you must pursue it so that you can actually get fucking crushed and realize that they're not for you then you get closer to what it is that you or that belongs to you or that is aligned with you mind you guys if you move authentically and truthfully towards what it is that you want, expressing a vulnerable side of you, a side of you that should be respected and cherished and nurtured by someone else that you're giving it to. If it is not nourished, then, then you know. Then you know they're not for you and fucking eradicate them from your life, however hard it may be. This is what I got for you. See you guys next week.